A top five battle in Class 5A in Austin, two perennial power square off in DFW, and so much more in Texas high school football. When are they going to get to the fireworks factory? We're fixing to pick them. Welcome in to Fixing to Pick'em in partnership with the NFHS Network, your guide to the Texas High School Football Weekend. My name is Greg Tepper of TexasFootball.com. Thank you for watching. We've got another big slate of Texas High School Football across the Lone Star State this week, and we start in the capital city. 7.30 p.m. Friday at Gupton Stadium in Cedar Park, just outside Austin, Texas. It's the Cedar Park Timberwolves taking on the Vandegrift Vipers, both unbeaten, both vying for that 25-5A crown. What are the keys to this one? Number one, Travis Brennan and the Vandy running game. Uh, so this is strength on strength at its best. We're pretty sure that Vandegrift's big time offense with Alex Fernandez is going to be able to throw the ball a bit. But are they going to be able to run the ball? Cedar Park giving up 2.3 yards per carry behind linebacker Augustine Tombe. Uh, meanwhile, Vandegrift with Travis Brennan averaging more than six yards a carry. What gives in that battle? Number two, the Jav Gidry effect. So Jav Gidry, the quarterback slash game breaker for Cedar Park, may be the most important player in this game. Number one, he's going to be probably matched up against Paxton Sagina, Vandegrift's number one receiving option. Uh, beyond that, he's also a game breaker offensively where he can make the big play, be it offense or special teams. What effect does he have on this game? That will tell the tale. And number three, Vandegrift's first half defense. So last week against Cedar Park Vista Ridge, Vandegrift decided to give up 49 points. That's not a good strategy. And this has kind of been their MO. In their opener against Elgin, they gave up 22 points. Now they firmed up in the second half of both of those games. But if you give up a lot of points to Cedar Park in the first half, you're probably not coming back. Vandegrift's got to be better in the opening half if they're going to come out with a win. Who am I picking? I mean, the Cedar Park Timberwolves. Uh, I think that this defense is really coming in, into its own right now. Beyond that, they have the game breaker in Jav Gidry. I think that gets it done. I think it's close, but I do like Cedar Park. Meanwhile, in Dallas-Fort Worth at 7.30 p.m. Friday at Bedford's Pennington Field, it's Euless Trinity, the Trojans, taking on South Lake Carroll. Uh, what are the keys to this one? Number one, a styles clash. Uh, you look at this, and, and really, these teams could not be more different. Euless Trinity is going to run the ball and run the ball and run the ball. In fact, they've thrown the ball 50 times all year with their quarterback, Tyler Nady. Meanwhile, South Lake Carroll, they throw the ball 31 times a game. This is going to be a huge style clash, and two teams that are uniquely suited to beat one another. Absolutely fascinating. Number two, Southlake Carroll's offensive line against Ewell's Trinity's defensive front. Southlake Carroll is going to try to get the ball out in space, uh, be that with little Jordan Humphrey or, or their quarterback, Mason Holmes, or their bevy of wide receivers, including Zach Farrar. Uh, but can they give their offense enough time to operate? You know the Ewell's Trinity front is going to be bringing heat and trying to stop the run of little Jordan Humphrey. Can Christopher Daniels and company of the Ewell's Trinity front get through the Dragons' offensive line that's a big key to this one. And number three, yards after contact. So we know what South Lake Carroll's going to do. They're going to spread it out, try to get their offensive weapons out in space. For Trinity, it's full steam ahead. And where they beat you isn't in the first three yards. It's in the next 20 that you give up after they break that first tackle. South Lake Carroll, priority one, two, and three is sure tackling on guys like J. Ron Wilson and Tyler Nady. Otherwise, they're going to run right past them. Who am I picking? Give me the Euless Trinity Trojans. Not only are they home at Pennington Field, but I also think that their offense is going to grind it out and wear down South Lake Carroll. Uh, this is the kind of offense that may not get going until the second half, but once it does, it can be devastating. That's a cumulative effect of their physicality. I like the Trojans. Out in West Texas, Abilene takes on Odessa Permian. Fascinating matchup in the little Southwest Conference. Big enough to be the DQ big game of the week on Fox Sports Southwest. I really like this Permian running game. Brandon Bailey is grinding it out, and the Permian defense has been outstanding. Give me mojo magic. Down in Houston, it's the Battle of Highway 90 as Dayton takes on Crosby. Interesting matchup here. We haven't heard a lot about Crosby, but simply because they've been running past people. This offense uh, with their quarterback, Tristan Cotton, has been excellent. But what's impressed me most about Code Red is their defense. I like the Cougars. Battle of Unbeaten's in 3A Division I as Pottsboro takes on Callisburg. Uh, Pottsboro's got that big offense with Zane Pritchett, while Callisburg is going to run the ball and run the ball and run the ball. I think Callisburg ekes out a win here. 
But those are far from the only big games in Texas high school football this week. Let's get to the lightning round. I like El Camp over Stafford, Ira Ann over Erie and County, and Alto over Price Carlisle. Give me Brownwood over Abilene Wiley, Waco La Vega over China Spring, and Pittsburgh over Liberty Ilo. I'll take Wolforth Friendship over Amarillo Tascosa and El Paso East Lake over El Paso Parkland. I like Nederland over Port Natchez Groves in the Bum Phillips Bowl, and I like Spring Westfield to bounce back against Klein Oak. I'll take Laredo United over Laredo United South and give me Ennis over John Tyler. That's going to do it for Fixing the Pick'em in partnership with the NFHS Network. Which games did I miss? Leave comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at DCTF. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Campbells. Follow us on Instagram, instagram.com slash Campbells, And find us at texasfootball.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Texas high school football weekend. We'll see you.